Happy Saturday morning. And welcome to Dream and Draw. Today, we will be looking at the bird's nest. The bird's nest is a stadium designed for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. It is made of steel and concrete and is one of the biggest steel structures in the world. It is made up of two separate structures. The first is an inner concrete bowl for seating, which is painted a bright red. And the second is an outer steel frame. We love the organic shape and random look of the steel pieces. It is a fun design. And in fact, the design was inspired by the idea of thread wrapped around a ball. Because of its appearance, it is known as the bird's nest. Does this building remind you of a bird's nest? Or what does the building look like to you? Now let's work on a drawing to capture the essence of the bird's nest. The bird's nest sits on the ground, so the first thing we'll do is prepare a ground line. We'll start with a pencil line going horizontal across our page, like so. The bird's nest is an organic shape. Organic means natural or naturally occurring. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an uh, angular line coming up from this point on the ground level. Once we get to a point here, we will begin to curve that line or round the edges and then start to head this way at a slope or an angle. Once we get to this side of our page, we will create a curved line coming back around and then an angled line back to the ground. That shows the outside edges of the bird's nest. Now we will prepare a line on the inside of that line, which will be the red volume that's inside of the bird's nest. The red volume is about half of the height of the bird's nest. So we'll again, we'll continue or start here with a sloped line. And when we get about halfway up the edge, we'll start to curve that line around. We'll follow the slope that we drew before and when we get to the edge, we will curve a line around again and back down. That forms the line or the outline of the inner space that is the red volume. Next, what we will do is we will use our black pen to go over these lines. We will not outline the edges of the red volume yet. Next, we'll get our red pen, red marker, and we will fill in the space for the red volume. There we go. Next, what we'll do is we'll create the outside shell or all the crisscrosses that create the outer uh, pattern on the building. The pattern of these crisscrosses is, is random and organic. They all go from the top line to the bottom line or from the top line to the side line. So use your imagination and create those, those angled or sloped lines. There we go. Last thing we'll do is we'll outline the red volume that you can see beyond the angled structure. Thanks for joining us for Dream and Draw.